teenagers and technology go hand in hand in today's world and while it comes with benefits like quick communication and creating a sense of community for teens who might feel isolated there's also an evil side to the internet as our next guest puts it thanks for joining us dr eric cole good morning and my pleasure thank you so much why don't you talk to me about what that um evil side of the internet is and uh, cyberbullying is what you talk about in your new book when children get a device they say and do things they would never do to someone in person and what they don't realize is that information is recorded and mm -hmm. there is no way to delete it and we see cases where somebody gets into a fight with a friend i hate you i wish you would die that information is posted on social media and colleges today are using that to decide who should or should not get into college so kids can ruin their lives just by sending a few texts or posting a few pictures and that's um, an outcome that i didn't even think about what this means for kids you are, you know, looking to apply for jobs or even school, like you mentioned. But also talk to me about um, the cyber bullying, uh, the element of like isolation, for example. We've been seeing so many different tragedies unfold on school campuses. Talk to me about how possibly cyber bullying could play a role in that. Yeah, the big issue with cyber bullying and electronic devices is the 24 7 communication. Before we had cell phones and electronic devices, a teenager might get into a fight with somebody at school, but when they went home, it was over. They could have a few hours to relax and recover. Now they can be harassed because you can text nonstop. And when people get into fights or people get into arguments, they can sit there and bully nonstop. And what many parents don't realize is not only could their kids be on the receiving end, but most kids without even realizing it are probably bullying other people and they don't even realize it. And we've been seeing so many uh, suicides as a result of cyberbullying too. Absolutely, because just think about how down and upset you can get if five or six different kids are texting you nonstop for three or four hours in the evening telling you that you're a loser and you're terrible. And parents need to be aware of this and really do two big things. They need to monitor their child's activity so they can coach them and provide advice and to do timeout periods. What I like is having a charging station in my kitchen where when the kids come home, they plug in their phone and no phones for two or three hours. You need to give them a break from electronic devices. Awesome. I mean, I know that you have a five-step plan for parents who I'm sure in an ideal world you, you know, would keep your kids off of the internet because there's so many unknowns, but right. again, teens and phones and the internet go hand in hand. So how would you advise parents to basically manage uh, their kids' activity online? The most important thing is to talk to them. Make sure the kids understand what the definition of bullying is. Because most kids don't realize sending a hate message that that really is bullying. The next thing is make the kids aware that there is no delete button. That information will last forever and show that by you posting something online, anybody can see it and anybody can access it. And then finally just constant monitoring and understanding what your children are doing. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Dr. Eric Cole, with us here today. Um, we'll have more information on his book and some of the tips that he has on our website at box5vegas.com. We'll be right back, guys.